Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming FDL, my name is Josh and this is 16-Bit Rally, the PC version of OutRun. Essentially, this is a brand new game which has captured and, and recreated the kind of Sega Mega Drive uh, and 2D racing games. This is my lovely purple car by the way and I've upgraded it with lots of nitrous, lots of, well, the maximum amount of speed and acceleration and I'm currently saving up by winning races to get a Mark II car, which I believe the only difference is that it's got a spoiler. But whatever, spoilers make things go faster. Apart that and um, racing stripes is all you need to know about. The maps themselves, which I believe there are like 40 something of, are all very different in like the track layout and the backgrounds and this kind of mode 7 plane of uh, that you race on is it's just really awesome um it and it always like every single map i've been on looks awesome looks different and it's just really nice to know that this style of racing game still holds up because i've been enjoying myself I've just been going from race to race just just enjoying how simple it is because I've also been playing distance which is kind of like the other end of the technological spectrum with all its like 3d gravity effects and and, and visual uh, effects and like really cool looking Tron uh, worlds stuff like that oh god this the AI try and get in your way as well which is really annoying <laughs> ah get out of the way I'm 11th as well, so I might not end up getting to the to the front of this one. Yeah, the just just simplicity of it is is brilliant. Arrow keys, shift for nitrous. That's all you need to have a really fun time in its career mode. I, I don't think there's any other. There isn't. Well, there isn't actually any other kind of mode that you can play in this. But it's just really nice going from race to race. I've been playing through, I think this is like race 11 or 12, in the amateur difficulty. So I mean, it's not particularly, uh, you know, uh, overly difficult for me at the moment. Uh, obviously, as you go through the races, the people you're racing against do get more difficult. There's, there's a nice progression there, but um, I, I played on amateur and it it's a little bit harder. I haven't tried, I think it's like the next one up's hardcore. But yeah, the like having three different difficulty levels is good because if, if you just want to mess around and have fun with uh, racing around tracks, then this is, it, like amateur is perfect. And then if you want like challenge, then maybe pro, like medium difficulty is a good kind of, step up from that but I mean it's not too much more difficult so to each their own you know and I'm, I'm just really really uh, enthusiastic about how accomplished this game is it it feels good like the taking racing lines feels nice you get a good sense of like the grip your car has and like the speed you're going at compared to other cars and like how, how well you can corner at different speeds because obviously like just then I had to slow down because otherwise I would have bashed into stuff and just then as well and you've got a good you've got a good amount of control over your car and also the AI is is douchey because it tries and gets in your way right nitrous I want to get into first and this is the final lap so uh, I might might not be able to do this come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on. Ah, uh, yes! Yes! Oh! Wait, no, there's one one before me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Straight, straight, straight. That's all my nitrous used. That's all my nitrous used. First! Oh, yes! Awesome! So good. That, that was really good. Um, and, as I say, it does get more difficult as you go along. Oh, I almost... How much was the new... Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. I hope it saved. I think it saved. Yeah, it did save. Brilliant. Auto saves as well. That's a nice feature. 1,500 for the new car. I'm going to play one more race because I haven't gotten this far and I I'm just really enjoying going through all the different really pretty, lovely pixelated uh, 
maps. I don't I don't know what the kind of up and down hills serve gameplay wise, but it looks cool. It, it definitely adds a lot of variety to what otherwise would be a very flat uh, and and sterile track. Because I, I definitely remember, I can't remember what game it was that I played a lot of on the Sega Mega Drive, but there were a lot of flat landscapes. Probably because of the limitations of the technology, but um, it did it did get a bit dull, and it's it seems to be fixed just by by making the the land be a bit hilly. Overall, I. Oh, I forgot to recharge my nitrous. No. Oh well, at least I'll be able to afford a new car next time. <laughs> Overall, this is like the perfect retro recreation. It doesn't do anything like radical. It doesn't add anything any any gimmicks to it. It just makes it pure and simple 2D racer like really well built uh, to to recreate that on your PC and in, instead of like downloading a ROM or anything I, I actually I've never tried to download ROMs of anything older than like GameCube but <laughs> which I probably shouldn't say because that's not technically uh, above board but whatever <laughs> uh, this is just a brilliant recreation of games from people's pasts and it plays well to boot. Um, I, 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 I just think it's it's brilliant, and it's so nice to see that that so much work and and uh, detail has gone into it. Things like the the draw distance, things like that, uh, things that I specifically remember. Like looking off into the distance, like the line where the back background meets the uh, the ground, uh, and wondering like what I have have to contend with over there. I especially things I can't even remember what it was called, but like forward-facing shooters as well as just racing games uh, are things I remember from playing on the Mega Drive. So it certainly tapped into that nostalgia factor for me as well as being an awesome game. How many laps more do I have? Okay, last lap. I might not end up in first. That's that's a shocking that's a shocking turn of events, especially for me. That's that's what happens when you don't have nit nitrous. Oh, these can't corners are Oh, it's so hard. I can't I can't not slow down on some of them. I don't think I'm taking them properly though. Yep, you slowly creak, or sneak out to the, out to the outer edge, and bashing into those um, arrow signs really, really slows you down. So that's not that's not good. Finish sixth. This is an interesting feature. It tells you that you didn't finish. Uh, I think this happens when you don't happen to come in third or above. So it asks you if you want to try it again. So that's that's interesting. Honestly, I prefer to be honest with with my uh, with my race results and and get really poor result, like points for for not coming in in first. But I'm still second overall, so that's that's good to hear. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have enjoyed my video, then give it a thumbs up. There is a link in the description to where you can check out this game. And and if you do, let me know what you think of it. If you want to discover more cool, free, weird and interesting indie games, then subscribe for daily videos. And until next time, race in 16-bit.